In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use the glabel and gtextField components in Java. Now, in this first step, we're going to uh, define what a glabel component is. And as its name uh, implies, it's basically a label which lets you display unselectable text and images. So as you can see, it's imported from the Swing framework, or the Swing package. Um, and as you can see, we uh, instantiate an object of type jlabel, in this case named label here, using the jlabel constructor from the class we imported up here. And our, in our label, we want the text to display label 1. And then, very important, you need to, um, in order to display your instantiated object jlabel, you need to add it to either your frame or your panel. So in this case, uh, we're working inside a frame. So we're adding the uh, object named label. And then, um, as you can see, this is what we would get. So we have a uh, label, which as, a, as text has label one inside it. So um, that's uh, the theory behind uh, the G label component. In the next step, we're going to see how to use this in Java. In this step, we're going to see how to add uh, a couple of labels to our interface that we've been building up uh, step by step in the previous couple of videos. So as you've noticed, I've done some modifications to our code here. Uh, our panel is now called login panel. And from now on, uh, instead of declaring uh, fields directly inside the methods, we're going to be declaring them uh, as class fields now so that we can uh, potentially reuse them as we want in let's say different classes or different methods entirely. So <clears throat> in this example here we want to add um, two uh, labels to our panel. So we start off by obviously importing the jlabel class from the uh, swing package and then as you can see we declare two <coughs> uh, fields so of type jlabel obviously and one for our email, which is called label email, and one for our password, which is label password. Then let's scroll down. As you can see, we still have our method that's going to display our logo, so we're not going to touch that. However, we are going to create a, uh, a constructor of our class, and inside that constructor, this is where we're going to instantiate our jlabel objects using the two fields we created uh, at the top, that's class fields. So uh, we want our um, our field label email to instantiate a jlabel object uh, and we want that label to have as text email and same principle for the label password. We want the jlabel object to um, display uh, password as a text. <coughs> and then obviously, very important, we have to add these uh, jlabel objects uh, to our panel with this uh, with these uh, instructions. So um, just before we launch the program I just want to add something very important. In the previous videos uh, we uh, displayed our frame using this instruction uh, but we did we wrote this instruction out at the top of our code. It's very important now that you uh, have this instruction uh, set visible uh, at the bottom of your code and that's because you have to load all of the components uh, before you um, display uh, the visibility of your frame. So it's very important that this instruction is at the bottom <coughs> of uh, your code in your, in your frame. So that being said now, let's uh, run the program. <coughs> as you can see we have our two labels email and password that are displayed so now that we've seen what a jlabel component is we're now going to see what a jtextField component is and this is basically a text box so a text box is a box where a user can input text so this is also imported from the swing framework uh, to use a uh, jtext field, uh, you, f you have to instantiate a, an object of type jtext field, in this case named fn, using the jtext field constructor imported from the class at the top here. 
<clears throat> and between parentheses you have the length of your um, text box in pixels so 20 here and then obviously you have to add your um, J text field object to in this case to your frame so this is uh, what a J text field looks like so we have two of them here uh, here and here and then we also have uh, two labels here so the next step we're going to see how to um, <coughs> use uh, these in Java so now that we've added uh, some labels to our interface we're now going to add some text boxes uh, to those labels um, so again we need to import the jText field class from the swing package uh, then we're declaring two variables uh, of type jText field in this case email field and password field <coughs> and then still working inside our constructor we're going to instantiate two j text field objects using our two fields so for email field we want to instantiate a j text field uh, or text box should i say uh, of uh, as a length uh, of five pixels and for the password field the same thing so and then obviously we have to add uh, the objects to our panel as we've done here so let's run the program <coughs> And as you can see, we have our two text boxes uh, here. So that's how you use um, the J label and J text field components in uh, Java. If you want to learn more about what you can do with J labels and J text fields, you can visit their uh, official pages on the Oracle website at these links here.